Today I'm going to be making sugar snap peas and red bean salad. And this is from the Finesse 101 Vegetable Lab. Sugar snap peas are in season in spring and they're coming up in my garden, but I'm too impatient to wait for them. I see all the little buds, but it got me in the mood for this salad. So the first thing that I need is two cups of stringless snap peas. And you can also do this with snow peas. And I have some water here boiling. And I'm going to blanch these. So I'm going to put a little salt, a half a teaspoon of salt. My peas are going to go in for about 30 seconds and immediately get removed and put into ice water. My water is coming to a nice boil and I have my ice water here. And I'm going to blanch these sugar snap peas. So they go in. And the purpose of this is to set the color and also to stop the cooking. So you really want these very crispy and you'll see that they start to get bright green in color. Okay, so I don't even want to give these more than a minute because I want them really, really crisp. And I see that the color has brightened up and they're gonna go right into the ice water. And the ice water is an important part of blanching because we wanna stop the cooking process. Okay, and for the rest of the ingredients while the sugar snap peas are cooling off, I have a quarter cup of finely minced onion. And it's really important not to, um, not to go back with the knife on this and smash it up too much because then it breaks all the cells and it makes the onions really, really pungent. So another thing that I like to do with red onion, I want, I want that little bit of bite from the onion, but I don't want that lingering flavor. So I always soak it in ice water. So I have this soaking in ice water for at least five minutes. Then I have a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of flavorless oil, I'm using uh, canola, and a quarter cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna mix this up, but it's gonna take a while for the sugar to really dissolve. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then I have a quarter cup of parsley. Okay, so I have my parsley chopped and I just wanna check on my beans here and make sure that they're nice and cool, and they are. I have my peas here and now I wanna add one can of dark kidney beans and it's important to use the dark. It's just, um, it's, it's a much different color and it just looks nicer next to the peas. Now I'm gonna drain my onions. I'm gonna add the onions and my parsley. And I can see in my dressing here that the sugar has dissolved. And you see the beautiful contrast between the peas and the kidney beans. Season with a little bit of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt. We want this to marinate because we want the beans to absorb all that flavor, but we also wanna limit the amount of time. So I'm only gonna give this about a half an hour because the chlorophyll plus the acid in the apple cider vinegar will change that compound to a new compound called phenophytin, which is that dull olive color and we really want to avoid that. So I'm gonna give this 20 to 30 minutes and then serve it.